गाइस माय नेम इज ऋतु सचदेव आई हैव वंडर्ड व्हाट्स द रीजन बिहाइंड रनिंग ऑफ योर वर्डप्रेस वेबसाइट वेल द रीजन इज लूप लूप इज अ पीएचपी कोड व्हिच ग्रैब्स ऑल ऑफ योर पोस्ट एंड डिस्प्लेस देम लूप इज आल्सो रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग एनी इंडिविजुअल पोस्ट लूप इज आल्सो रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग कंटेंट ऑफ योर पेज इन योर वर्डप्रेस वेबसाइट so let's understand the basic working of loop today loop outputs all of your post like on the home page you can see i have several post here some post or when i scroll down i have example post when i scroll down i have hello world so loop is responsible for displaying all of this post one by one loop is also responsible for displaying any individual post like when i click on some post it displays that particular post only so loop is responsible for displaying any individual post and loop is also responsible for displaying any page content of page like here i go on about us page so this content for this page is also displayed with the help of loop i go on sample page or i go on services page so what is loop loop is just a php code which is grabbing all of your post say if you got the one post display the one if you have got the second post display the second post if you have got the third display the third likewise and in the end it checks if there's another post no okay then it stops outputting the post now let's see a very basic loop which is used by the all of the pages like on the about us page or on the sample or services let's go for this about us page template which we have created in our last tutorial we are creating page template in wordpress this is what we have created this page template for our about us page and services page so let's go to our sublime text editor this is our 2012 child theme let's open this no sidebar.php as it does not contain sidebar this is what we have learned in our last tutorial so let's open this template now here also you can see we have this end of php end of loop this is opening of this php statement where it says while have post the post so this is while you have the post display the post get the part of template page right then we have this comment section here comments template get this comment template here like you can see i have this comment section on pages also so this is what it says then this php and while end of the loop so this is how it controls the pages now let's see our home page which displays all of the post so index.php is always responsible for the home page so let's go and check our index.php and let's see how the loop works there so here is my code editor now you can see this index.php is in the parent theme 2012 now let's go to our local folder so here we have theme 2012 inside wp content i have themes folder inside which i have all the themes in my website so this is our 2012 parent theme and this is our child theme let's open 2012 parent theme now here we have index.php let's copy this go to our themes folder paste it here on the child theme now let's go to our code editor see now we have index.php here in the child theme see here it says if you have the post start the loop while post display the post while post the post then get the part of that template get post format and while 
Now here we have navigation for the page. If post exceeds in the number, then we have some navigation there previous or next. Else, if post ID is equal to zero, some ID is there which has been applied. Apply the class post no results found. So this is how our loop is behaving. If you have the post, the post, get the post, get the template and the while. Now to understand how this loop work, let's have some text here. See after the start of loop, when we have the post, let's have some text here. Let me have h1 tag. Let me have text. I am here. Let's close this h1 tag. Let's save it up. Now, let's refresh. Now you can see, I have this text. I am here on above every post. This is what loop is doing. It's repeating again and again. Now if I want to have this text just below to this all of post, simply I will cut it from here, paste it wherever loop ends. Let me paste it after this get post format. Let's paste it here. Let's save it up. Let's refresh. See, now this text is at the end of post. I am here. I am here. So now we can understand how this loop works. Just this few lines of PHP code running of loop controls your complete website. Now let's remove this text as now we are sure how this our loop works. Now let's save it up. Now you might be wondering how to get inside of this loop. This is what we have displayed something about the loop something below the loop but how to get inside of this loop so it uses the different template here on the parent theme we have content.php so this is what it controls the structure of our loop the default template for displaying content right now see this is our web page when i will refresh and do the right click to inspect the element this is our inside div id content we can see header class entry hyphen header then in h1 you can see entry hyphen title so this is what you can see same thing here header class entry header right in the h1 class you have entry title so on this is the complete our html part for it here you have footer class entry meta you can see when i scroll down i have this footer class entry meta so now we are very sure this is the content.php which is used by all of the post to display the structure of post so now that's cool. We can easily control our structure of post. Like suppose you can see here. This entry was posted in uncategorized on April 24, 2015. So this is what the footer class meta is responsible for it. Here we have, let's copy this or cut it off and paste it where it says
header class entry header let's paste it here let's save it up let's refresh see now this line is above all of the post this entry was posted in uncategorized so this is the category of our post if you will post it in some category that category will appear here and on april 24 2015 likewise this was posted on march 18 or this is how it works or if i don't want to have it at all simply i can select this meta entry from footer class entry meta closing of footer cut it off save it off and let's refresh see it does not exist anymore if I want it back on its position, again I will go to my this before closing of article, paste the whole junk of code, save it up, refresh my page. See here we go. So now you are capable of understanding what is loop, how it behaves and you can also easily customize the template which loop is using like you can control this meta tag so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye